Now we're going to do what's called calculations. Calculations is another way to expand the uh, limits of a of a um, to expand the limits of a calcul of a um, channels. Okay, so if I had this uh, particular image and I wanted to um, so select from this, let me let me make a copy of this quick. Um, and take all this stuff off. So if I had this image and I wanted to select this out, one way I could do that is to uh, go into a function called calculations. Now calculations is over here under the word image. It's called calculations. And here's how we would go about using that. Select your image, go over here to image calculations. Now, what is calculations? Calculations allows you to take any source and multiply it, or I should say blend it, with any blend mode with a second source and get a new alpha channel in your channels panel. So in this case, what I'm going to do, because I already know if I go over here, um, I'm going to throw these away so we're not confused. Um, if I go over here, I told you first explore to see which one's the best. And we already know landscape, mostly it's going to be the blue channel. The blue channel is, already has the highest contrast. So I know when I go into calculations that I want to do something to multiply or blend blue with blue. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go back to my thing and I'm going to go to this image. Oops, let me turn red, blue, green back on. Um, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say I want to calculate and I want to go blue, and I'm going to calculate blue as my, I'm going to use the image, the original image. I'm going to calculate it on itself, blue channel with the blue channel. And then what I can do is go through these blend modes and see which one of these blend modes. Now, most people tell you just multiply it on itself. 99% of the time, people just tell you multiply it. Well, I'm not a traditionalist. I don't just do what everybody tells me to do. I kind of explore all the blend modes. So I have found that multiply works pretty good, yes. But what I found is that color burn works a lot better. So... But not always. Every image you have to you have to experiment. Every image is a little different. But with landscape photography, when you're doing trees, I have found that color burn works even better than multiply. So if I take blue color burned on blue and tell it I want to make a new channel, I'm going to get a pretty good definition between my tree, foreground and sky. So I'm going to say, OK, calculate those for me. And when I come back over to the channels, you see I have a new alpha channel that was the result of that calculation. Now I do the same thing that I did when I was just playing with channels. I'm going to I'm going to do control L and I'm going to bring up this levels and I am going to make my adjustments. And I'm going to try to make my blacks as black as I can. And I'm going to make my whites as white as I can. And wherever I can't resolve those, I'm going to take a brush. And I'm going to and I'm going to blacken this in carefully so that I have a good selection here. And then I'm going to 
load this selection. Now this doesn't look real white to me. So I'm probably going to do a second levels on this and try to make this even whiter if I can. Probably the best I'm gonna get. I'm gonna load my selection. <clears throat> now remember, when you're on channels, you loaded the white, inverse the selection, control shift I, come back over to your, come up back over to your image and apply your mask. Now I'm gonna show you a different technique on this one because we're also we're also teaching you today how to clean up your selections, right? So <clears throat> if I have that selection right here, here's another technique for cleaning up those blue those blue shadows or those light edges around your trees. Before we showed you we showed you how to to do it with hue and saturation. Here's another technique you can put in your toolbox. It's called inner glow. So um, it's a that's under your FX here. If I apply uh, an inner glow, if I go down here to FX and I apply an inner glow, inner glow, just turn this one on. Okay, when I open up the inner glow, this is the panel that I'm going to get. And I've already I've already picked a color. So you just pick a color here, which can be any color on your tree, right? Right on the edges of your tree. Put that inner glow into the darkened mode. You can adjust your opacity to get it about to the same opacity of the edges of your branches. And then come down here to your size. Move your side size slider around a little bit so that you're basically just getting the edges of those leaves. So here's what it is with no darkening on it. And here's as I pull that slider in with that color, see how I'm just darkening and coloring that halo. I'm not removing it. I'm taking that halo with an inner glow and I'm coloring it the same color of the leaves with a low opacity in the darkening mode. So when you zoom out, can you see any blue there? No. Those and I didn't lose the I didn't lose the edges of the tree branches. So sometimes you get that, you know, stuff where you try to remove it and then you get all these little hunks of leaves that are just hanging out there in the middle of nowhere because you've lost all the little connections of the branches in between them, right? So this colors it rather than tries to remove it, right? Now, if you still have some blue, which we do, it's back to our favorite trick we just learned. Just throw a hue and saturation layer on there and take that, that last little bit of cyan out, which is what we did right here. So now we've used two techniques, right? We used the inner glow to color them. And then what we couldn't remove we used our last technique we learned, which was to target those cyans that were left over. And we threw on a little bit of a cyan hue and saturation and we removed some of that hue and saturation at the last minute. Maybe we did, let's see if I put that cyan in there. Yeah, we took some of that cyan out. Okay. So those are two techniques for cleaning up your trees, which will give you absolutely gorgeous trees that you can use for compositing. And it doesn't have to be trees. I mean, you can use this for any difficult, any difficult selections. <clears throat>